Hey, what's going on there, guys? Call of Truth here, and I just have one question for you all. Can you revive that fast? Now, be honest with yourself here. If you can answer yes, then this video is probably not for you. If you answered no, however, then be sure to stick around as I teach you how to do that faster revive, or also known as the quick revive, and as well as a few other general medic tips involve, involving reviving when looking from Battlefield 3 and moving on into Battlefield 4, as this starts my uh, Battlefield 4 building block series. Now, the medic class here in Battlefield 3, clearly the best class of the game. The best equipment, the best weapons, overall, just flat out overpowers all the other classes. But when I see players play, especially when it comes to gameplay that uh, I see in videos, it drives me nuts about a few things that medics do. First of all, when people don't understand how to do a quick revive. And the second thing is when they run around with their paddles out. Now, let's get one thing straight right off the bat here. I'm not the best medic. I'm not even really that good of a medic. But I feel like I can revive pretty darn well better than your average player, and even better than some of your higher level players. I can revive fat in a, basically a blink of an eye. Now you may be saying, well, that's pretty bold. Well, you've seen some of this gameplay. I can revive pretty quick, and that's what you need to learn to do if you want to be a good and even great medic moving into Battlefield 4. Now, Battlefield 4, the, the medic class and revives are changing. We know we're going to have two revives, but you still need to revive that fast. It is just in that blink of an eye that you need to re be reviving your teammate. Why do you have to revive that fast, you may ask? Well, it's pretty simple. The longer you have the defibs in your hands, the higher your chances are that you're going to die. You can't run across the map with your defibs out to get that one revive on your teammate. It just doesn't work that way. Okay, maybe you pulled it off a couple times, but odds are you're probably going to get killed. And learning how to quick revive can get you, help you out in situations like this. The teammate goes down. I need help. Okay. I can quick revive because I, I confident my ability to revive him fast enough to get my weapon back out versus somebody else who may have to pull out the defibs, look down at him, press down the defibs, wait for them to come back up, and then pull out the weapon. In that time, you may have both been killed, him again and you for the first time. That's not something that you can have moving into Battlefield 4. You need to learn to revive that quickly. Okay, so what is the trick that I use in order to be able to revive that fast? Is some kind of secret method or button combination? No, it's not. It's the same exact combination of buttons that you would use in order to be able to pull off a revive. Here's the thing, though. I've just learned to do it very fast. And how I've learned to do that is practice. And that is how you're going to be able to do this if you're someone that still does not know how to pull off these lightning fast revives like era in Battlefield 3 right now. You just need to practice doing this. Whenever I'm reviving someone on a wireless controller, I might add, that doesn't have nearly the responsiveness of a keyboard or mouse, all I do is press those three buttons that I would normally press in order to be able to get the revive and pull out my primary weapon again. I just do it so fast because I've learned where the buttons are on my controller and when I need to push them. It just comes down to time and effort and you willing to put just, just I guess you'd say, the time in in order to be able to do this. And that's really about it. If you're struggling to pull off this very fast revive and you've tried in-game, Grab a couple of friends, go on an empty server, and just practice reviving. Just have someone shoot, and then just revive, 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 and just do this over and over again. That's how you're going to be able to do these very fast revives. It almost is like I'm pressing three buttons at once. I have my primary weapon on screen. I press, for me, it's the right D-pad, R1, and triangle. The, R, the uh, right D-pads for the defibs, R1 is to revive them, and then triangles go back to my primary weapon. I press all those buttons certainly under half a second, if not even faster than that. But there's one flaw to the system, and that's it right there. Sometimes you will revive so fast that you will miss a friendly. It happens, and that's just me not quite mastering this quick revive system yet. I'm pretty close, but I have not completely mastered it yet. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Battlefield 4 Building Blocks. Remember, though, guys, that in Battlefield 4, there's going to be two types of revives. One that you can do for, like the quick revive here in BF3, but it's only going to restore about half health. And the other one, you do have to charge your paddles for in order to be able to get your dead teammate back up to full health after the revive. So just keep that in mind moving into Battlefield 4, but the quick revive system will still be there. Hoping you guys enjoyed this video and found it a little bit informative. If you did, be sure to give it a rating. I would appreciate it very much. And uh, hopefully if you haven't learned to uh, do this quick revive system, that this video helped you out and you're now able to do it. Take care, guys. Y'all have a great day.